morning. We are here at SeaWorld today. Um, this is probably my first time coming to SeaWorld in ages. Like, I, I don't even remember the last time we were here. So it's gonna be just an experience. Again, we're meeting up with Joe's brother and his kids. So it's gonna be a day of like, you know, trying to figure out what our kids can do. Like Joe's brother's kids are all older, like they wanna ride the rides, but our kids obviously can't. So we're gonna see what we can do. Um, we just went through bag check. I will tell you, here is different than in Disney where you're not technically supposed to bring in food, um, outside food and beverages. So like when we go to Disney, we take a little cooler with food. This time they checked my bag and luckily the lady was super nice. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna let you in this time because I know you've got the kids, but there's some people that are really strict on that and won't let you in with the food so i guess i lucked out but that's like one thing to note for sure but the kids are over here jackson's in a mood like always riley are you excited yeah. we, where are we uh, this is sea world we're gonna see a lot of animals today there's an orca show you want to see that yeah. kids are looking at the flamingos we got some flamingos here Riley, what are those? Flamingos. Flamingos. Jackson wants to walk around, so I'm gonna let him hold my hand. See if we go walking. Okay, that's rude. Riley, there's a lot of sharks and fish. This is like one of the little viewing areas, the viewing tanks. I right, got Elmo, Cookie Monster. We're gonna check out Sesame Street Land. See what's going on in there. They have like little water play areas that we're trying to avoid. All right, so Riley's going on this ride with her cousins, and I'm hoping that she's not freaking out. This is the flower power. <laughs> Did she freak it out yet? Hi, Riley. It's like a little teacup, but it just goes up. other um like little kid roller coaster riley's not gonna do it but there's this one um boxcar derby and it looks like the height requirement for this one is 38 inches so i don't even know if riley could do it but she doesn't want to so that's fine all right so we did the train um so we're like kind of going around and doing like all of the little kid rides here um with elmo and stuff so we're gonna ride the carousel now. I'm waiting for Joe to get out of the bathroom, but we're gonna go on that. Riley, which horse are you gonna get? I go uh, I go pick. You're gonna pick? Yeah, Okay. Jackson's like trying to like escape. Jackson, which horse are you gonna get? Ow. None of them? Green one? Ooh. Or blue one? Jackson refused to mount a horse, so we are here on a bench. They have like benches. <laughs> so that's one of the convenient things about the carousel, but Riley's back there with Joe. So I'll have to see how she's doing. <laughs> Jackson, it's just a carousel. Just a carousel, nothing scary whatsoever. He's like terrified and there's like nothing happening. <laughs> He's clinging on to me for dear life, I cannot. Jackson, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so next on the list, we're gonna try to start just heading towards the orca show so we can see the whale show. So we're gonna get some seats, get there a little early so we can get some seats. Yeah, and then we're gonna see some sea creatures, okay? Riley's eating a banana. <laughs> Jackson's having Doritos. The show's at 12, it's like 11.20 now. So we're getting here with plenty of time to just get seats and just kind of chill and relax. And then after that, we're gonna do lunch because we haven't eaten all day. <laughs> kind of hungry. We actually made it to our seats. So we're gonna wait here for the show to start. This like entire place is so huge. So there's plenty of seats still left. We did get a snack. So like right when you go into like the Orca Stadium or whatever you call it, there's like a little snack kiosk. You can get hot dogs. Joe has a hot dog. You can get popcorn. They had nachos, drinks, and stuff like that. So Jackson's having a pretzel over here. Riley's just hanging out waiting. So then you can eat your food like while you're waiting for the show and during the show. So that is nice because I thought I was gonna have to wait till after the show and I was so hungry. But um, hopefully this will be a nice show.
because we have been waiting for our food <laughs> for two hours. We've been sitting here at the waterway grill or something like that for two hours in line waiting for our food. So Joe's about to come bring it to the table and it better be good you guys because this is the longest I've ever waited for food. It's insane. Like it's, the line is out the window, like out the door. We did it Dada! We did it! <laughs> this is our food. So it better be delicious because dear lord, that was crazy. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> for our food. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, Dada. Well, luckily Jackson is still sleeping. I know. So that it's is crazy. Good. But he needed a break. He was tired. Are you gonna feed the sharks? Yeah. Look, here. Look. This is what you feed them. What are those? Let's go over to Uncle Jim. If you look under the bridge, there's a giant stinger. Really? Oh. Are you gonna feed one? She threw one now. We're trying to throw it out. Oh, yeah, there so you can see it. No, no. Good. All right, let's see which shark is going to eat it. The fish ate it. Yay. Meanwhile, Jackson's over here. He finally woke up from his nap and he's having Cheetos, living his best life. She's throwing them far. She's doing good throwing the shark food. Jackson wants nothing to do with the shark exhibit. He's like, every time that Yuki gets close, he um he has a fit. The stingray ate that one. Good job, Mama. Wow. Come back here. Jackson, you want to walk? He's kind of freaking. Huh? He's being a little weenie today over What's everything. He loves fish. In I know. Fish. He's a little fish. Where's Riley? Next Riley, do you see all the fish? Look at all the fish. Just sleeping here, hanging out. Riley, what do you think of that one? Look, there's a bunch of sea lions. Look, that one's swimming in the water. Jackson, do you like them? James is not dead. <laughs> you see him? Jump it into the water. This is so cute. Now, this one is done for the day. <laughs> That one's playing. Oh, so nice. Oh. Oh. These are aggressive. Oh my goodness, look how they come up to people. And they just scream at them. That's hysterical. I didn't expect for them to be like so close to people, but like I guess you can feed them. And they're like, oh my, they're like screaming at their faces. <laughs> like, Give me the food. <laughs> I can't. Screaming at that guy. Look. <laughs> Do you like the sea lions? Riley, you want to feed them? We'll have to see where you get the food. Look, there's like a ton of them right now. Just looking for food. What's the matter? Do you see the sea lions? Wow. This one's still like over life. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Which one? The big one? Hey. Oh, look, it's moving. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna feed them? Alright, Dada got here with the goods. Dada came with the fish. I'm gonna move spots. <laughs> you got the aggressive one. <laughs> Funny. Where's it going? Yeah, throw it up to the mouth. 
going to see the sea lions try to feed them because Riley was having the best time and like they're like all up in your face it's very funny um, so now we're gonna get our stuff we're gonna park the stroller because whenever you go to the shows you have to park your stroller and we're gonna see the sea lion show so we're gonna go do that now I think he likes this you know what I think you're right now Clyde has shown us that he's always been motivated and interacting with us and he takes part in his own health care. Now, if I don't like you, or why don't you two? No, you just you. Tell him to do what's next. Okay. All right, Seymour. Show everybody how you can jump. That was amazing, Seymour. Now, he also uses those powerful pectoral muscles, kind of like a bird when they fly through the air, kind of move them up and down, to swim really fast to get away from those predators. All right, Seymour, show everybody just how fast you can swim! Alright, see more quiet. loves the aquarium right now. It's like, whoa! Let's go over there. Look there. All the sharks. Super nice. We came into one of the aquariums while the boys um, and Emily they're riding one of the one of the big roller coasters. So this is just like an aquarium that they have. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is that just like anemone? Oh my goodness. So cool. I have never seen this in my life. Look at that. The weedy sea dragon. Those are so cool. I've never seen those. Okay, so it's much later. We are back in the room. Um, Jackson is playing with SpongeBob. Oh, what is that? 
Crappy Patty. Crappy Patty. Crappy Patty. <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? I'm just playing with Golden. Oh, they're playing with their little toys that they got at Universal. But yeah, I feel like the second half of the day, it didn't really vlog much just because things got a little bit chaotic there. Um, we did get to see a lot of the shows, which was really good. Yeah, we saw all the three shows. No, we saw the dolphin show, the sea lion show, and the orca show. The shows were all really good. So the kids really like that. Riley, which one was your favorite? I think uh, the sea lion one, like the silly guy. There was like, <laughs> there was a mime there, like before the show, like keeping the audience entertained. And she really liked the mime. He was good. He was funny. He was a funny entertainer. Oh! What is that? Crabby. Jellyfish. And where's the Krabby Patty? Yeah. How do you say Krabby Patty? How do you say Krabby Patty? Hey, what is this? Crappy Patty. <laughs> Crappy Patty. It's my favorite thing that he said. But yeah, so we got to see the shows. I feel like after the shows, then um, Joe's brother and the kids, they did a couple, like maybe like two rides. Like Joe, you did one. You did the, what was it called? The Manta? He did the Manta, which he said was... Was it terrifying? Fantastic, I loved it. You loved it? Yeah, you have even a slight fear of roller coasters, but I was willing to do it. This one's this one terrifying. This one's scary. I didn't ride the ride because I didn't ride the roller coaster. No, you didn't ride the roller coaster. I was not big enough. That's right, you weren't big enough. What if you were tall enough? Would you still go? I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. Maybe when I'm a grown up, I'll be tall enough. Yeah, when you're grown up? What if they let you go? Uh. <laughs> I don't know because I. I don't know if I'm too big enough, like this size. Yeah, you might be too little. Okay. But Jackson can't ride it because when I'm grown up, he can't ride it. No. He's still gonna be a baby when I'm grown up. Really? Yeah, because he has to stay with Santa. Okay. Hey, Jackson, if. <laughs> if. When I'm grown up, if I'm riding the roller coaster. You have to stay with Dad, okay? Is that a plan? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a plan? <laughs> you took his yeah. ally. My 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 ally. So what was I saying? So he rode the Manta, then James and the girls rode the Infinity Falls. Is that what it was? No, not, they did Infinity Falls earlier, Journey to Atlantis. They did that ride. But I feel like you really had to pick throughout the day, like if you were gonna ride rides or if you were gonna watch the shows. Like there wasn't enough time in the day. I think the riding was quick cue. The riding with the no, quick cue. No, we didn't. We only did one ride, but the quick cue seemed to be quick. Yeah, the quick cue yeah, seemed to yeah. be worth it. Like if you paid for Dining the. Plan, yeah. Trash. Sorry, we're, trash. We're, we're like just upset. But I was Absolute trying to say, trash. you kind of had to pick between like time wise of like doing things in the park. Like we didn't, they, they really didn't ride a lot of rides. Um, just because of the time. Like we watched a lot of shows, which took up a, a lot of time. So they ended up going on just a few, a handful of rides. Well, Ella couldn't ride on. And yeah, and then we had like the height requirements, so um, our niece wasn't able to ride some of the rides. But the quick queue, I feel like that's worth it. You got to go straight to the front of the line, right? If you had the quick queue, like you didn't have to wait very long. So like for the Manta, like one side, like there's two roller coasters uh -huh. that are running. Mm -hmm. One side, one roller coaster, one of the. Is for the standby? It's just for normal standby, the mm -hmm. other one is just for quick queue. Yeah. So they, whenever they did go on a ride, because they had quick queue, it was fast. So that was good. Um, but we had also paid for the all day dining. And we're just gonna tell you, the all day dining was the biggest freaking rip off of our life. Um, we ate one meal. I mean, yes. It was the timing of the season, of it being super busy, but I was not very happy at all about the whole dining situation. Like, we waited two hours in line for lunch, and we went to have dinner, and at all the places that you could eat dinner with like the all-day dining plan, it was gonna be the same. It was gonna be like an hour and a half, two hour wait. So we just got to the point where we were like, forget it. Um, we got the kids some ice cream, and we left. So literally, we paid whatever we paid for the all-day dining, for 
one, one meal. meal for one meal and like they advertise it like oh you can eat once every hour and like no you can't if you're waiting in line for two hours <laughs> so oh thank you for that kiss yeah, mama yes so yeah, i don't know i'll probably mama, at some point do like a little q a about universal and um sea world since i've been vlogging this trip but I was not very happy about it. Like the kids obviously had a good time. They had a good day. We got to spend time with our family, which is why we went in the first place. But they seem to have a lot of things that are not great. Like some of the restaurants and stuff were closed at six and like we were looking for dinner. And then like, of course, everywhere is going to be like two hours because like half of the places are closed and they don't have that many food well, options when those places close. yeah and then you couldn't even figure out like when are those places yeah. closed like it was just that that part was not fun it was not fun at all yeah then like we'd be waiting in a line and we're like okay well this is not gonna work we're not gonna wait here for two hours let's go find another place and then you'd go to the other place and it was just as long so that was that was not fun like that's something that you don't really have to deal with like at disney even like in the busiest times you can do like joe was saying like they've got the mobile ordering that you can do um and i've never had to wait two hours for food. No, no, jackson, so, that's your hour. you have this one jackson drink your hour and then we're gonna take a bath okay look at him drinking from his water bottle pinkies up <laughs> so sophisticated <laughs> did you see that it's pinky up <laughs> good job gordo who's that Patrick. <laughs> and where's Gary? Oh, and who's that? Rainbow. Gary and who's that? SpongeBob. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be my recap for the day. Um I hope that you guys at least had fun of whatever I filmed today because I don't even really know what I filmed. Um, but it was still a good day, and I feel like Riley had the best time feeding the sea lions. The sea lions were a lot of fun. She got to feed the sea lions? Yeah, she got to feed the sea lions, which was fun. And she got to feed, like, they had, like, stingray, the stingray exhibit. Um, but she fed, like, the sharks. She fed the sea lions. So that was fun, and... I don't know, we got to spend time with the Can fam. Can you tell her about the stingray touch? What about the stingray touch? Can you tell about the guys? Tell the guys, what do you want to tell them? No, you can tell about the, the stingray touch. Okay, but what do you want me to tell them about it? Like, when I was That born, you couldn't touch them? Yeah. You tried to touch the stingrays? So what yeah, are you but to tell your you can tell the guys. But what do you want me to tell them tell exactly? Tell the guys to not go there and think that you're going to touch a stingray. You may not. Yeah, she was mad because she was trying to touch the stingray because they have like the stingrays that you can like put your hand in and touch, but they wouldn't come to where she was and she was too short, so she was having a fit. But maybe next time, right? Yeah, but oh no! What? I can I can't. No, what my happened? other coin, my shark one. I have it. I have it. Thank you. You're welcome. You, let me see your shark coin. That's she got. Coin. A bunch of the coins like how she has in disney like the little collector coins so she got a penguin one so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go because i'm gonna get the kids bathed and stuff because tomorrow we're going for our second day to islands and universal so that is it you guys any questions you have let me know um but that was our experience at sea world so yes i love your faces thanks for being here make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys